finished recording it. Wait. Hey guys, uh, YouTubers, and uh, what I'm doing today is working on is a motion sensor alarm for outdoors, and it's going to have a light, and it will have a siren. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to hook it up. And each one of them has a different decibels of the strength, the sound, but all of them are 12 volt. The horns, they're all 12 volt. And the uh, motion sensor is 110. And we're going to hook that up. I want to show you how easy it is and how um, sensitive it is. And uh, that's where we're headed. So I'm going to bring you over here to the table. Okay, the first thing we do is we can start off with the cord. And the cord could be plugged into a timer if you want this to go off at a certain time and be uh, be ready to go at a certain time or whatever. It, you know, powered up. And then the next thing would be the motion detector itself. And there's adjustments for all of these, the sensitivity and stuff. Uh, I'd have to make a different video on that. Uh, but I can show you a picture up here, the uh, example of them. And uh, we're going to go over this diagram, which I've got a better one. I'm going to show you up above here and uh, how to hook all this up. But this is probably one of the smallest horns here. doesn't have a light. But it's one of the smallest horns. And I'm going to show you above here with the decibels and some intake on, a little information on this one. And we're going to try all of these out. Then I've got this small one here. And uh, which here's, I'm going to show you the decibels. All the decibels I'm going to show above, the information and everything on it. But we're going to try all these out and see how they sound. Now this one here has a light and a horn built in. All the sound, the horn sound, the alarm sound is built in these units. That's where the sound comes from. It's built in here. It's electronics in there that makes that sound. But this one here has a light and the, uh, the horn, the uh, sensor, Tyrene. And then this one here is a big one right here. Uh, it's all 12 volt, but I'll show you the specs above on it also. But in order to use this one here, and I mean it's super loud, you have to use 12 volt on all of this. But this is a 12 volt, 2 milliamp, yeah, 2000, 2000 milliamp, 2 amp, milliamp, yeah. I'll show you the specs above on this one here too. But we're going to hook all this up and uh, go through it one at a time. So what we do is we hook the brown and the blue, but we got to come back out of here with another blue or another wire to go to the 110 plug. So let me get all set up and I'll come back to you. Okay, I found another horn too. And um, I didn't show you a minute ago, but this horn has two different ways you can hook it up. And the big one here does too. It has two different ways you can hook it up. And we'll go through that also. But first, we need to wire something up here. But at the same time, I found these uh, 12 volt lights. We're gonna hook this up first before we hook up a siren. The sirens are loud. And uh, this will show that everything's working. This is 12 volt also. Now what I did for one of the wires, I couldn't find another blue wire. So I found some blue tape and I tagged it on both ends blue. That way you have a full understanding of what's going on here. And this is going to be our plug from our 110 from the house or power. Okay. Now what it's showing here is the brown, the brown would be hooked up on here, one end. Uh-oh, looks like that's kind of short. 
Let me get something to trim that back. got solder on the end it's hard for all that oh that's copper okay we're good we look at these others that red's kind of short too let me go ahead and get it well I might as well go ahead and trim all of them get the blue also trim them all up Yeah, if you've had a problem with somebody trying to break in or be somewhere in an area they should not be, this would be one way to get rid of them. And it would let you know there's somebody there and you can make a quick phone call to police or grab your gun or whatever you feel like you'd want to do. All right, the brown. This goes to the house. This is a 110 house wire. That's what we're calling it. We're going to wire nut it off. Pull on it, make sure it's good. Okay, the other wire is going to be the blue wire, but we got to add another blue wire to that to go over to our plug to drive our 12 volt. So this is our other blue wire. All three of these here go together. Pull on them, make sure they're in there good. Okay, now we got a blue wire sticking out. We got this here wired up. If I plugged it in, this should, this is, works like a switch. This motion detector works just like a switch, like you flip on a switch or turn off a switch. This is a switch and you don't have to be there to flip it on. It turns it itself on when somebody walks in front of it or drives in front of it. And that's where the important roll happens. Okay, now the red wire is kind of short. I'm going to have to add on to it. Dead battery, common story. Okay, we're back to the red wire here. The red wire is a little short, so I'm adding on another red wire to it to extend it. Just make it longer. I had to get a wire nut. Now I got plenty of wire nuts down here if I need one more okay so now we've got our blue wire and our red wire which will go over to a to a plug of some kind I'm gonna wire it up on here that way I could plug in three things if I wanted to of 110 I could put a 110 light anything that's 110 I could plug in here the sensor the switch basically will turn on anything that goes to this Okay, now saying all that, okay, pull on it, make sure it's in there good. Take the blue wire now, go right next to it. That is the only color wire nut I could find. Doesn't matter what color it is. Okay, so now we've got. 110 plugging in the house and 110 coming out and a switch in the middle okay okay now I've got 12 volt here with 2000 milliamps 2 amps and uh, we're going to be plugging it into here either side okay now I've got a little adapter right here I'll show you something above where you can find them and what they're called 
but they just plug in there and I got to get a little screwdriver <coughs> for this so hang on something like this you can never be totally ready with everything on the table because you never know what you're going to need Let's see what size it is it's a small one now the neat thing about this screwdriver is it will handle several sizes and you just push them into place and it stays there okay i gotta find a small phillips i think it's this one look at that little bitty rod look at there see it hole watch this well there you go all the way it's in there you can't pull it out all right where is right here okay i need to back these out a little bit Like I said, we're going to use one of these little 12 volt LED lights here. Oh, I got to clean these up too. Look how small them wires are. God, it's going to wire, it's going to light up all them lights. But look how small them wires are. Okay, they'll go in there. Where is it? There it is. going to make sure the motion sensor and everything's working and then we'll hook in and I missed the wire and then we'll hook in the horns and try them but they're going to be loud and I'm going to fix them where you can just touch it on We'll hear how loud they are. Okay, that should be two. Text them. Make sure they're in there good. They're in there good. Okay. Okay, now we're ready to uh, see it work. This is our 12 volt right here. Plug and then goes into the 12 volt light here. And then this here will hook into the house. I'm fixing to hook, plug it into a cord. See, it's on right away. Now it's gonna have to go off and then I'll walk around, I'll wave my hand in front of it. There, it's back on, it takes, a, it's, it's, Looks like it takes a second or two to uh, initialize, but it is working. It's a little slow at it. Maybe I need to prop it up a little higher. Make sure it works good. Before I go to hooking them horns and stuff in there. Oh, it got me just right then. Okay. Nothing's moving. It's inside of a uh, garage here where nothing can go in front of it. Yep, it went off pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and hook in the... Uh, Maybe we'll try this one with the light. And like I said, up above, I'll uh, give you some specs on it and everything. But now I need to unplug this before I hook that up. And this is gonna, this is gonna have a loud sound to it. I'm a Phillips head. Look how it just slides in here. It just slides in, it's locked in. I like this screwdriver. And then it comes with all these little bits and stuff here. Got it off of eBay. I don't remember what to, but here's the brand. Members Mark. Members Mark. And uh, I don't know what I paid, but it was worth it. It was well, well worth it. And uh, it's not a ratchet handle or nothing. 
but it will handle all different sizes. But anyhow, I need to disconnect this. Okay, one side's locked, locked in, and I can touch the other side. And you can hear it and see the light. Now they make 12 volt security lights that flash that are about this size. I got some ordered, but they won't be here, be in here for a few more days. All right, I gotta plug it back in. Okay, we're powered back up again. 12 volt still hooked up. Okay. How can I put this on there? Just temporarily. I'm gonna hold it just like that. Oh, you know what? I bet there's a negative and a positive, and I got it hooked backwards. I can already see that. I got the polarity backwards. Let me hook the ground in. This this got little plus and negatives on there. And this is still going. I can hear it clicking. I can hear the uh, motion sensor clicking. I heard just clicking in. Okay. I'm trying to think of some other something else I could put this on. I don't want it shining outside and the bird set it off. Okay. We are set up to see the light work. Oop, it's already on. Okay. Maybe I don't have a good connection here. Okay, it went off on its own, I think. Let me see if I can set it back off. what decibels that is but it's pretty loud and I like the little red light that's another thing that would be really intimidating if somebody's trying to break in or something or you could see it a few hundred feet if you hear the sound you look out and you see the light you know something's going on okay one more time Ears buzz. Okay, I'm disconnecting that one. And I gotta remember the polarity. It's all about the polarity. I gotta hook the polarity up on each one. Okay. That's uh let's try this little dude out. That's what he sounds like. Okay, I'm hooking up the uh the plus side. No, the negative side. I won't do the negative side on here. I'm just holding the other side with my finger. Negative? Yeah. Okay. Now this has got no light or anything. It's just got sound. And it may be already set off. I don't know. Because my hand was in front of it. not near as loud it's different but it's not near as loud and I don't know what the decibels is I'll put them up above each one of them has a different size decibels we working our way up to the big one it's not bad okay I'm disconnecting it and we're gonna go to another one I wish the independent lights were here where I could hook a light and a siren in to where you could get the... Uh oh, I gotta cut this one. Leave a little bit in case I wanna hook that to something else.
Yeah, I didn't rehearse none of this, so I didn't have all this ready. But we good. We good. Okay. A plug. I gotta look to see what size it is. Okay, what side I gotta go to. That's a negative on this side. Okay, it's in there good. Alright, so we are set up and we're we're looking at this one now. It doesn't have a light, it's just sound. It's probably already on. Loud. I'll put the decimals above, but here, let me set him off. Dang. I don't know if I can do that three times. My ears are buzzing now. And we haven't even got to the big one yet. Okay. Oh, yeah. This one here. All right. Now, this one here, this is an old one that I found up in the attic where it was hooked to an old uh, house uh, alarm system that we had years ago. And uh, I cleaned it up. We're gonna bring it down. Okay, I'm seeing two pluses and a minus. Okay, so this is gonna have a different sound to it. So we're gonna go ahead and hook this to the minus on this side. Now, I don't know which one has it like a strobe sound, and the other one's going to be a solid sound. I don't know which is which, but we, here we go. We're still hooked up. That sound pretty solid. Sound pretty solid. I'll have to look this up. I don't know what the decibels is on it. But now we gotta go to the other wire. That was the green wire. And it was hooked on the positive side. It's got a little positive right there on the tag. And this has got a positive tag also. So we're changing over. See what this sounds like. Okay. sounds like a police car or an ambulance or something but anyhow that's the reason for the two extra wires now we're headed to the big one okay I did go online and then I noticed with blowing this picture up they're right there how to hook it up there it is the red is plus the yellow is plus the white is negative now the red has got the yelp this is probably a solid sound the yellow one is probably a solid sound and the red one's probably got the, the, the pulsating sound to it. But we're going to hook it up. I don't know if I can hold it on there very long because if it gets too loud, you know, i got to let it go. It's just, I'm going to turn it downward. Maybe it won't be as loud. And, uh, yeah, find the ends here. Okay, the white is the negative. So we're going to put it on the negative side, which is right there. Okay, this is going to be loud. I'm not going to turn it this away. Well, I might move it that way. I don't know. But anyhow, we're hooking it up. Okay. Let's go for the... Uh, the Yelp, which would be the red one, going to the positive side. I hope that's already ran out this time. Okay, I got it touching. Here we go. I moved it 
right there, it picks it up. Okay, I need to get up on around here. We're gonna try the other one, the yellow one. But I wanna give this enough time to time out here. That way when I hook it up, it's not going off. <laughs> oh, it still hadn't timed out yet. I'm not gonna hold this on there long because it's getting loud. I might have to go to the hearing doctor, straighten my ears out. Okay, I'm touching it. I am touching it, and now here we go. That's why you got to get a, a um, 2,000 milliamp to dry that one. Because this, this takes on a lot of power. Yeah. Wow. What a collection. I just wish the, uh, the other little lights would have got here. They're just lights only, but they are 12 volt. And I can hook up another 12 volt adapter in here, see? And uh, then I could have a horn on one or siren on one and a light on the other one but this here you get all in one but if you did them separate you could get what kind of light you want and you get what kind of horn you want and hook them together okay guys I hope that helped you out and uh, with what we got here on the table I sure I learned a lot and uh, now I'm going to put them to use. I got a place down there near the storage buildings where uh, somebody is, had given us a little problem. And I believe when their car passes by here, uh, yeah, it'll take care of it. The lights will go off, the, uh, the horn will go off, and uh, I'll know. And I can either call the police or go down there with a gun or something. And I ask them, what are you doing down here at 11 or 12 o'clock or 2 o'clock or whatever in the morning? Talk to you later. Tell everybody where you've seen it at. Bye. You in the video are giving us a like or subscribing. It makes us want to bring on a little more entertainment. Don't you agree?